What's up guys, Barrett with Barrett's Music, and I'm here with a big box today. Let's check out and see what's in it. Since you guys know me, you know it's something musical. Alright guys, so today I have you the Alesis Q2525 uh, keyboard controller, USB MIDI controller. Let's check it out. Let's open it up and check it out. It's a lot bigger than the Akai MK Mini or whatever. Yeah, this thing is a nice size, man. Look at this thing. Wow. It's got full-size keys. It actually fits really nice. Look at that. Very nice. All right. I'm digging it already. I love how simple it is. That's one of the reasons why I got it. Uh, it's just two octaves. You got the pitch bend right here, and you got the modulation. Then you have octave up and octave down, so you get a bigger keyboard, really, out of it. And you have the mini select, midi select. So it comes with Ableton Live Lite. That's pretty cool. And then here's a card that tells you pretty much how to download the uh, software on your computer. All right, so how you set it up is you go to Alesis website, uh, address they give you, alesis.com slash software download. Then you register your product with the serial number given to you. And then they give you uh, all of the things that you get inside the package. So you get uh, this software air expand you get pro tools first and you get this thing called melodics So those are the three things of software and then you download those things of software on your computer uh, My goal now is to try to create a beat out of this thing Let's try it and see what happens. I'm getting some latency. I think that's because of my computer more than anything my sample rates at like 4800 and I got the latency around 48 milliseconds or 40 somewhere around in there but uh, I'm just using FL Studio. I'm just going to try to mess around and make something up. So, see what happens. Something like this. Let's see if this works. See what this sounds like. Crap. Just just a little bit. So we made that beat by playing the bass drum on here and the hi-hat and the snare inside the program. What's cool is I made that bass drum a melody. So, so far I found D sharp works really well. So I think I've kind of figured out what I want. Something like a... Uh... So I know the challenge was to create all the tracks and the music with that, but let's be real. When you're trying to create a bass line, grab a freaking bass, you know? <laughs> I use all the tools at my disposal, you know? I could have used real drums and recorded real drums, but... Uh... So I'm going to show you all a secret trade trick. You know how uh, Fruit Loops FL Studio doesn't let you record audio into it unless you pay them a hundred more dollars. 
You can go into Audacity, listen to your recording and record audio, import that back into FL Studio as an audio clip. Let's do it. Now that I got it in the program, let's put some effects on that. Maybe like some distortion or something. So that's pretty cool. I dig that, I dig that, I dig that. That's pretty cool, I like it. Now let's go back in the keyboard and do some melody. string part, don't I? I don't really want like a, a keyboard part. Let's do a down octave.
<laughs> I don't know, man. Hey, let's record something else to see what happens. Well guys, thanks for watching. This is what I kind of came up with in that amount of time. I was trying to get some melody in there too, but it just didn't work out for today. You know how it is, sometimes it comes to you, sometimes it's harder, sometimes it takes longer. So this is the Alesis Q25 and I'm enjoying it. I think it's pretty cool. I'll see you guys on the next one.